Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mass Planner video tutorial. We're going to talk about the Instagram repost tool. What this tool does is it searches and takes other users' posts and gets it published on your wall. It is like the equivalent of sharing a Facebook post, but in Instagram, there is no such feature. That's why you use the repost tool. Most of the settings for the repost tool are quite similar to those of the other tools. You have the wait between minutes before each new operation, repost between random number of posts per operation, with a delay timer between each repost, repost a maximum number of posts per day, zero for no limit, Repost between hours. This is the time when the tool is going to operate. Next, you can choose to repost only images, videos, or images and videos. Then you have unique image alteration level, and there are three options. You have small, medium, or hard. What this does is it edits the image before it gets reposted on your Instagram wall. And you do this because we don't want Instagram to see that you are posting the same image. So small corresponds to little changes, medium, medium changes, and hard, the changes will be very visible. The recommended setting is either small or medium. Moving on, you have here delete the post after certain hours. If you enable this option, this will automatically delete the post that you did after the hours that you have indicated here. Then you have here posted within the last days. What this does is it will search for posts that were published within 60 days. If you want the latest post, you can decrease the number of days here. Then you have your filter posts by number of likes. If you enable this option, the tool is going to search for posts that has the random number of likes that you have indicated here. Same thing goes for filter posts by number of comments. It's going to search for posts that has certain number of comments. You have limit maximum number of reposts per user. So what this does is it's going to repost one post from a certain user for the entire time that the tool is running. Now, if you don't want to repost images that contain specific words in their caption, like for example, a bad word, then you can enable this option and indicate the words here. Then you have here caption text of the reposted post. By default, this text is included in the text box to give credit to the original owner of the post. So what's going to happen is once the image gets reposted on your wall, it's going to say reposted from and then include the post URL or reposted by and the username of the owner of the post. Then you can choose the days of the week when you want the tool to operate and if you have other Instagram accounts where you want to copy the settings to, just click on copy settings, choose the account and then click OK. Now let's move on to the sources tab. Here are the different sources that you can use for your search on your repost. You have here repost post by keywords so you just have to enter the keywords here. Repost post of specific users. As you can see here you have an example of a valid username that you can enter here then just click add usernames and it will be added on the table below next is repost on post of friends of target accounts again you have here an example of what you can enter on the text box and just click on add accounts URL and it's going to add it here on the table. Then you have repost popular posts. It's going to repost posts that are trending. Then repost using geolocation. So you just have to enter the latitude or the longitude or select a location from the drop down box. Or you can manually add the location. Just click add locations and it's going to add it on this table. Then you can repost specific posts based on post URL. Just have have to enter a valid Instagram post URL and then just click add to repost list and it will be added here. To start the tool, you go back to settings, you click on start repost and the results will be displayed on the results tab. Now from time to time, it's going to start reposting. That is the first way to do the repost. The second way to do the repost, which is the one that we recommend, is to send it to a campaign. This way, you'll have more control on filtering the posts that will be reposted on your wall. So here you can choose the number of posts that it's going to extract. Then you get to choose the campaign where you want to send the post to and then you just click on send to campaign. Now to publish the post you go to your campaign. And on the post list tab of your campaign you are now going to see the posts that were extracted by the repost tool. Here you can see the images and you can edit 
captions or the text that you want to include in the post. So it's better to send a repost to the campaign before it gets published on your wall. That's all for the repost tool. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.